Hey, what's up, YouTube? SpiderVic24 here with a uh, another My Thoughts video. This time I decided to do one on the uh, Spectacular Spider-Man cancellation. Uh, I know this is a bit of old news, but um, due to Spider-Man being my uh, number one favorite uh, comic book superhero and my number one favorite thing of all time, I figured I'd do one since uh, I have some very strong opinions on this. Now, um... The Spectacular Spider-Man premiered um, a couple years back on what was at first Kids WB, which then transisted into uh, the CW for kids. And then when um, Disney bought Marvel, the series switched networks over to their uh, Disney XD channel. Um, and in my opinion, The Spectacular Spider-Man was an absolutely fantastic series. It was such a amazing series. It was it was great, you know, um, they were doing Peter Parker's life throughout high school, you know, you had classic villains, you know, it was just fantastic. They, they couldn't have done a better Spider-Man series, and I was, and I've been waiting for a Spider-Man series for a very long time, ever since the 90s um, animated series. Um, when I first heard about the spectacular Spider-Man and saw the animation and then the the teaser trailer, I'm thinking, this is, oh wow, I can't wait for this, this is going to be fantastic. You know, we had tons of classic villains, we had like, um... The Vulture, Shocker, um, the Green Goblin, and the uh, fan favorite Venom, Doc Ock. You know, we had a, we had tons. There, there was more than that, of course, but tons of different, um, you know, uh, villains. And you know, uh, the 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 creators did um, their own like little take on the villains, like the Green Goblin, for example. They made a more um, maniacal, more um, more sinister, I guess you could say. He kind of had, he kind of seemed like, uh, had elements of the Joker from the Batman series, I guess you can say. And, you know, that was cool, in my opinion. I really, really liked, uh, the spectacular joke, Joker, <laughs> Green Goblin. Um, it was really, really cool, you know, um, the, uh, what was that one group called? Um, the Enforcers. Um, you know, that it was cool we got them, because, um, you know, uh, that's, I don't think we ever got that in any other Spider-Man series. I mean, maybe, maybe the old, uh, 60s Spider-Man series. I, I've never seen every episode of the 60s series, so they might have premiered in there, but I don't think they ever premiered in the 90s series. So it was nice we got them, and what was cool, though, is that their leader, Montana, became the Shocker, which was another cool, um, thing that they threw in. So, you know, I mean, it was really cool the way they threw things in there, like with their own version, their own touch, you know, because there's nothing wrong with that, you know, that just shows some creativity, you know, that you're not afraid to, uh, to do something creative, which was, and it turned out all great in my opinion. I don't really think I ever had any complaint with the Spectacular Spider-Man, the way they did things. Like, there were some elements from the Ultimate Spider-Man comic book series, which I'm a big fan of. You know, they had, a uh, Kenny Kong, um, that's an Ultimate Spider-Man character. He's not an original Spider-Man character. So it's nice that they threw him in. Um, what else? Um, it was one more. Um, the fact that um, Peter Parker and Eddie Brock were like childhood friends, basically brothers. And they both lost their parents in um, in an accident, a lab accident. Like I said, more elements taken from the, uh, from the uh, Ultimate series. Um, but the Venom was, um, base Venom was basically, like, the original came from space. It wasn't, uh, created by their parents, like, in, uh, like, an Ultimate. So, um, we got a total of two seasons, um, each season consisting of 13 episodes, so we got 26 episodes total. Um, when the first season came out in a, in a, in a set, I immediately bought it, and, um, I'm still waiting for the season two set. Um, you know, season one was fantastic. It was really, really good. And I'm thinking, wow, I can't wait for season two. I don't think season two is going to be just as good. Season two was actually even better. I loved it. Um, done very fantastically. They, they they threw in so much more. Like, I really love the way they did, like, Peter Parker's uh, love life. Like, even though in the comics he was his love life was very, very complicated, they really made it just as complicated in this series, which was really good to those, fan, to those big diehard fans of Spider-Man. Like, um... Another thing that, that I really loved is that they added diversity in the show. Like, they made Liz Allen um, a Puerto Rican, which is something that um, she wasn't. She was a Caucasian in the comic books, which, you know, is nice that they added some diversity. I have nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, he dated her when they threw in Mary Jane. I'm thinking, oh, wow, is, is he going to hook up with her? And he never hooked up with her in the series. There were implications 
and I thought um, maybe they, there's still a chance that they will, but we're never going to know now. Um, you know, um, his main interest, though, is with Gwen Stacy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I was really happy that we got Gwen Stacy because she wasn't in the 90s, except in the series finale of the 90s series. Um, another thing, though, is I'm, I'm very, I was very happy we got Molten Man. Um, I re I'm, uh, I'm not a big, I'm not a diehard fan of Molten Man, but I do like Molten Man, and it was very nice that we got him in the series, so I was very happy about that, you know, he was dating Mary Jane for a little while, so it's nice that, um, we got Molten Man, and I was very happy to see a fight between him and Spider-Man, I, I was just really waiting for that to happen, I loved it, um, the Doc Ock was done nice, um, Vulture, Electro, Rhino. There's not really much you can do with Rhino. It's just a guy in a big Rhino suit. Um, be, you've got to be very stupid to screw that up. Um, we got a very classic-looking Sandman, which was nice. Um, we got Hammerhead, Tombstone, Silvermane, Silver Sable. Like I said, I can go on all day about every villain. And we got implications for other villains. We got um, implications for um, Carnage, Hydro Man... Um, Scorpion, you know, and the Hobgoblin, and Scorpion and the Hobgoblin were villains that were, uh, that were probably going to happen for Season 3, and I was very excited to see them, because I like Scorpion. Scorpion's one of my favorite, um, Spider-Man villains. And, um, Season 2, the way Season 2 ended, um, well, spoiler alert, but I'm pretty sure you've seen the series, finished the whole series by now, but, um, um, Spider-Man defeated the Green Goblin. It looked like he was killed. Um, cause up until the, that series finale in season two, we thought that the Green Goblin was Harry Osborn, but in reality it was just Norman Osborn who just set up his son to basically take the fall for him. And I really liked the way they did Norman Osborn too, you know, it was very nice and made him like a real jackass. Uh, and there goes my phone, I'm sorry. Um, which, which was cool cause that's something we're used to seeing, like Norman Osborn being a real jackass, a real dick, like the way he is in the comic books right now. Ooh, you just want to. You just want to, ugh, <laughs> um, So yeah, it looked like he was dead. Then it looked like Harry Osborn was taking a turn for the worse by uh, kind of turning Gwen Stacy against Peter Parker. And then at the end of the series finale, we saw that um, he's not really dead, but uh, what looked like he was just going to go into hiding for a little bit and then come back. Um, another thing, I've, uh, we got the lizard. And I really like the way this lizard was done. Um, he was done very um, crazy. He had this really big animal instinct. Um, one thing I didn't like though is that this lizard looked more like a an, an alligator, kind of like um a kill like Killer Croc, but um minor minor little nitpick I guess you can say with the show. Um, we got an introduction to Miles Warren, who again another real big jackass in the series, and um, you know. The way they were setting it up for season three, they kind of chased um, Kurt Connors away, the lizard, through blackmail when he found out that he was the real lizard. So I thought that, like, in season three, okay, either he's going to become the jackal and Kurt Connors is going to come back as the lizard to fight him, or he's going to blackmail Kurt Connors again and to force him to turn the lizard to do more of his dirty work. So, you know, we got tons of great villains. There's still more that I'm not going to mention. I just want to wrap this up real quick now. I'm very, very, very upset that the series got canceled because this is a fantastic series that we got you know I'm very upset I was so mad when we found when I heard this I'm thinking oh my god why um, I, I know Disney had something has something to do with this I, I can't prove it but I'm almost sure they did I hate Disney <laughs> but um, in the fall we're gonna get the ultimate spider-man like the actual comic book turned into a series which I, I'm looking forward to, too, but at the same time, I'm thinking I, I'd be much happier with the Spectacular Spider-Man. So, a great series that was canceled, unfortunately. It was a fantastic series. I, I'm very upset still. I still can't believe it. Hopefully, we can get another uh, good series. The Hopefully, Ultimate Spider-Man will be good. Hopefully, it'll be good enough to make me forget that the Spectacular Spider-Man was canceled. I was very hoping that problems could have been fixed but I guess not so um I'm just about out of time guys um I'd love to keep going but um time limit won't let me so until next time please comment thumbs up um subscribe if you like and until next time this is spider vic 24 and have a great day